I used to dream of it. In the dream I was standing someplace high up, a tower or a mountain. It was always just before dawn. The whole world was in darkness. Then came the flash of light just on the horizon, within the clouds that mark the border between worlds. It could have been lightning, but there was no thunder. In the dream, the sense of foreboding grew, but I could never wake up. Then it came again, this time more distinct, closer. Definitely not lightning. Now it was orange, brilliant orange, the color of hearth and dawn. And a sound, too, distinct and indistinct. Not thunder, something else. Something uh, I should recognize, but in the dream I cannot place it. I want to leave my high place to seek shelter from what I, I don't yet know. In the man... Ah, you're back. I hope you've made some progress on tracking down this shout we need to defeat Alduin. Ah, indeed. And there's a pretty puzzle. Not the kind of thing you will find in your local bookshop. Let me think. Perhaps the College of Winterhold, what learning there is in Skyrim, is gathered there. One of the mages there may be able to put you on the trail of this Elder Scroll. Then, finally... Realization and horror arrive together. And you'd have me do what? Join the college and prance about casting spells all day? Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. Oh, forgive me. Most who arrive here do so because they have heard of the college beforehand. This is the College of Winterhold, a safe haven for mages in Skyrim, a place of wisdom and arcane knowledge. Perhaps, but what is it you expect to find within? Do you? It is true, there are some here who have spent years studying the accumulated knowledge of the scrolls. But what you seek does not come easily, and can destroy those without a strong will. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is, what can you offer the college? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. Dragonborn? It's been so long since we've had any contact with the Greybeards. Do you really have the voice? I would be most impressed to see that. Greetings. Welcome no! to the College of Winterborn. So the stories are true. You are Dragonborn. Normally, you'd need to show some aptitude with one of the schools of magic. But you... I think there is much that we can learn from each other. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. <laughs> Winterhold's glory days may lie behind it, but the college lives on.
I believe I've made myself rather clear. Yes, of course. I'm simply trying to understand the reasoning behind the decision. You may be used to the Empire bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find the Thalmor received no such treatment here. You are a guest of the College, here at the pleasure of the Archmage. I hope you appreciate the opportunity. Yes, of course. The Archmage has my thanks. Very good. Then we're done here. I don't want to... You are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronachs. Now, do you require assistance? And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand boy? I knew it. Everyone comes in here expecting my help, but they don't even have the proper questions. An Elder Scroll is an instrument of immense knowledge and power. To read an Elder Scroll, a person must have the most rigorously trained mind, or else risk madness. Even so, the Divines usually take the reader's sight as a price. The simplest way to put it is, knowledge, but there's nothing simple about an Elder Scroll. It's a reflection of all possible futures, and all possible pasts. Each reader sees different reflections through different lenses, and may come away with a different reading. But at the same time, all of it is true, even the falsehoods, especially the falsehoods. Ah. You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. I don't know who told you that, but I'll do what I can. What we do have are plenty of books. I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Try not to spill anything on them. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Aye, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls, but, well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. Oh no, I hope not. But even I haven't seen him in years, and we were close. Became obsessed with the Dwemer, took off north saying he had found some old artifact. Haven't seen him since. Somewhere in the ice fields, if you want to try to find him, 